Yo, what's going on guys? It is Prowler here today, bringing you guys another video. And what's going to be happening here today is I'm just going to talk really quick about my absence, but hopefully you guys saw my EA4, whatever the gun's called, the new assault rifle, the laser beam rifle, um, DNA bomb the other day. I don't know how, I don't know when this commentary is going up, but hopefully it was pretty recent and you guys enjoyed that. I uh, got on the first day, third or fourth game, got DNA bomb. I was actually playing earlier because we had a two hour delay. And I woke up at 8, but it ended up being that I couldn't get one. I didn't even try to get one early, but I played on my main account. Uh, trying to grind for the number 1 spot. Uh, currently, I am like number 1, Apex number 3. I'm, I'm number 2, actually, uh, when I'm doing this commentary. I'll be number 1 soon, though. <laughs> Got you guys. But I will be streaming once I get my new room. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's a tour of what's going to be. Go check out my channel. Uh, the link will be in the description below. And what you guys are going to watch quickly is an EM1 DNA bomb on jungle. Not jungle. <laughs> This map looks so much like jungle, but instinct. So, what I'm going to talk about today, guys, is uh, how to get a D DNA bomb. And if you guys don't get a DNA bomb after this, uh, I don't know. There's something wrong with you. Because this is going to be pretty textbook on how to get a DNA bomb. I actually had a gameplay that was pretty textbook as well, but I, I don't know where that gameplay is. So, you guys are going to be watching this. So, if you guys want to get a DNA bomb, I don't. Uh, there's a few ways you can do it. One's going to be spawn trap, and that's probably going to be the easiest one. Um, if you want to get a DNA bomb, uh, the others play thumbless, thumbless people who can't really shoot a gun, and that's typically what happens with reverse boosting, but if you guys aren't up for reverse boosting because it's too complicated and you have to kill yourself like every other game and stuff like that, or you don't want to spawn trap, here is how you're going to get one. Um, so what's going to be happening is you guys are going to want to get a game mode you're comfortable in, whether it's up one, domination, TDM. Anything like that, I don't pref I don't recommend game modes that aren't objective just because people camp because there's no objective. People camp anyway, but uh, non-objective game modes like TDM and Kill Confirm, they camp way more. So and then you guys are going to want to get a gun that you are comfortable with, like the AK-12. I don't know what you guys like, subs, anything. And the key tip to this is going to be be comfortable when you're playing. Don't try and go out of your comfort zone when playing. Don't play too passively. Don't play too aggressively. Play whatever you want. If you guys play really aggressive, then do that. But the one tip I'm going to give you guys is map movement. Now with these exosuits it gets really hard. It's not like Black Ops 2 where you could just straight up go ahead and just like shoot everyone, get your VSAT and just keep killing people non-stop. Yeah, it's not like that at all. Uh, this game is pretty much all about movement and if you guys can master the exo movements you're going to be way ahead of everybody. Whether it's the dash, uh, really the side, side to side movements and when to use the double jump is really going to be most important. If you guys have those down you're golden. That's one thing you want to get down, so if you guys don't have that down already, you might want to do it because it's pretty pretty helpful to do if you guys are going to be um, trying to get DNA bomb. And then you guys want to move around the map. Now, this doesn't mean sitting there spawn because what I've noticed on this game, it might be in every game, but it, I mainly see in this game is people tend to go after you way more than they used to. It seems like the kill cam show where you are, I don't know, it's, it's weird, but... If you stay in their spawn, they're going to be coming after you constantly. It's really annoying. And you're just going to keep getting swarmed. So what you guys want to do is you want to move around the map. You know, maybe kill five people here, move, kill five people there. And kind of a little rotation of four spots and where you can go. Whether it's a little route you run like on solar, um, back where the parking lot, I don't know. I don't know the name of the flag. But on one side of the map, there's like where you can go down to this little warehouse thing. I like to go around that, like up top on that little bridge thing go down and then keep rotating around that and just kill people because there's usually spawns like right around there so kind of get your own little like rotational area around where there's a nice amount of cover and you guys can do a lot of good stuff there and just keep getting kills uh, popping up here and there and as far as silencers go I'm not sure if you guys need a silencer depends if you guys are running a party and you guys can get system hacks it's not worth putting on the silencer if you already have a good attachment like the battle 27 pretty overused gun but if you guys want to run a silencer on that I run stock and four grip and silencer, and I know that I can get system hacks, so I don't I don't use a silencer on some guns, but this gun I do. I don't know why it's just what I do. So if you guys are confident that you guys can get a ton of system hacks like EMPs, Black Ops 2 didn't really need to use it, but in this game it just seems like people watch their radar way more and stuff like that. And as far as your perks go, if you're using a laser gun, don't run scavenger, and you guys don't really need blast suppressor. Um, I'm pretty good with reactions and stuff like that as far as you know. Uh, being able to kill someone by boosting uh, Not boosting, but if you like boost jumping you appear on their map Then you'll be able to pretty kill them pretty easily because of my reaction time stuff like that So if you guys are comfortable without running blast silencer then again You guys want to run the system hack with exo uh, Disable it just makes it so much easier to do and yeah guys 
pretty much just a uh, quick tips on how to get a DNA bomb. If you guys don't get a DNA bomb after watching this video and doing all these tips, uh, yeah, there's just something up, and I'll try and help you the best I can, hopefully. But anyway, guys, leave your comments below on how you guys get your DNA bombs. Leave a comment on how it work worked out for you if you tried it, and go check out my channels in the go check out my channel link is below. I'm gonna be uploading a lot more come the new year. And yeah, guys, it's been Robert Prowler, and I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys later.